I'm just vibing. I'm just vibing. I'm just vibing. I'm just vibing. What a lit read. Wow, what a lit read. It's your boy, your motherfucker. Don't bit. Don't John Dillinger. I am him. And I'm here with my best friend, motherfucking. Point blank, you feel me? Why she straight out of Memphis? You feel me? Up in the junk, you heard? But um, yeah, man, you know we vibing, goddamn. You know how that go, goddamn. Welcome back, you feel me? Um, again, you know I don't know what the fuck I'm doing, but we are gonna get into it. You did. Go ahead and goddamn shout your Instagram out. Um, uh, it's underscore underscore Southern. Underscore Bell, B E L L E. Yes, sir. And you can follow me at I am Big Don't. You feel me? The big one, not the little one. Never the little one. <laughs> Hell is you saying? I want to tell the people a little song, song about yourself. You feel me? Where you from? Where you grew up at? Where you live? You know, just go ahead and get them the, the real spill of Kiki. <laughs> I'm from a little everywhere, you know. Let me stop. Nah, for real. I'm from a little. I was born in Memphis. I moved to Atlanta. And now I live in Boston. You know? That's... I got two kids out here living life. I'm a teacher sometimes when I want to be. <laughs> I don't know. Just a regular, smegular, diggling girl, you know? I could do that. I could do that. I could do that. You say you a teacher. You like it? Kids. Fuck them kids. Wait. Fuck them kids. Nah, let Wait. me stop playing. Fuck we love kids. the chip. Don't Wait. love the churn. Wait. Don't even count. <laughs> <laughs> hey, y'all. This motherfucker, this my best friend. I don't know if I already said that, but this daddy had my best friend since high school. Like, you know, real deal best friend. You know, ain't no fake shit over here. Okay. Anyway. Grade, you know yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. You feel me? And see. This motherfucker, dead ass been on motherfucking TikTok looking up sign language all fucking day, bro. What you done learn? What you done learn? You know, it's a fuck. Hold on, hold on. Because you just put it on the slide. Fuck them kids. That's what you said. It's a dumb ass nigga. What's okay. <laughs> See, all I know is dumb bitch. That's what you saying. And on, what he said? On Jesus. Hell is you saying? Fuck y'all. On Jesus. Go and tell the people how we met. So, right? I don't know why the fuck I was in my ass. You know, we went to Wilkers Park. Ninth grade. I don't know why I was in my ass. This nigga is always in trouble because. Yeah, for some reason he couldn't get it together. He was in the back of the classroom. My nigga trying to get a number. But I gave it to him and then I feel like I didn't work. It's up in this stuff. Fat up in this stuff. Locked in. Whatever y'all be saying these days, tap in. We locked in. Twin. Whatever the fuck. I ain't, I ain't hip no y'all, y'all nigga shit. Like, I mean, I'm only 30, but bitch, I ain't, yeah. We ain't even gonna get into all that. So, what's your favorite memory with me? Hmm. There's mad memories. I ain't gonna hold you. For sure. Nobody was legal, the fuck. Ain't hey, nobody was of age. <laughs> right. We out here doing grown folk shit. Nobody of age. Me. I ain't never used to smoke y'all, but to, to today I am the biggest smoker you might Yes, have. Lord. Oh, like, God. This day used to try to force me to smoke, like, just shit that I had no business doing. He was really my temple, you know. Facts. Facts. Shout out to so, my boy, Nico. The most recent one, I would say is, like, you know, the last... 
That's we right. going everywhere. For sure. And y'all, I was scared to get on the plane. I was scared to get on the plane that first. These motherfucker made me get on the plane. Shout out Darsha Neek Neek, you feel me? Yeah. Yes, sir. Shout out Darshi. That motherfucker, hun, Kiki, made me get on the fucking plane. I was scared for my motherfucking life. But I got on the first time. And again, and again. I even flew by myself to go get my chair one time. I'm going to let you know something. This boy ain't never, never. He don't care if the flight's at 825. He's going to get to the airport at 8. Oh, God. Never on time. Never. I'm going to be late for my own funeral. It'd be like that, though. What's your worst memory with me? I want to shoot the dink. Ain't shit. I want shit back then. But, you know, I'm a better person. Now. I have changed. You feel me? I have changed my life. Around. I gave my life to Jesus. I walked that green mile and got right with Jesus. I swear to God. Right with Jesus. Oh, God. All right, we're going to talk about some social media shit. You know, some trending topics that's trending right now. First of all, celebrity deaths. You is from Memphis. You know, for sure, for sure. Thoroughbred. Okay, like, how you feel about Gangsta Boo dying, bro? I mean, I don't know if you know who Big Sky is, but he from Memphis too. Big Sky, that my boy froze on for sure. Long live them, Gangsta Boo and Big Sky. But how you feel about, you know, Gangsta Boo dying? I mean, I don't know. That was my music. That was my mom's problem. <laughs> but bitch, you be on the phone saying got all the three shit mafia. Up, but like, it didn't affect me. And I said, you know, rest in peace, Gangsta Boo. <laughs> fuck that I mean it was fucked up how she went out You get what I'm saying Like I mean I, I You know When you told me I was like drunk Facts you know, Allegedly Yeah Like <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Allegedly She allegedly overdosed Man y'all kids they Say no to drugs For sure that You got any takes on Like Take off death Some people gotta listen to music. Like, Me. I'm okay if I don't. <laughs> music control so my life. So, take off. I mean, you know, routine. So, that's good. that's sad. He's gone about, like, that part's gone. And him as a person's gone. But, you know. Yeah. Rest in peace, take off. I see. I just feel like that death was just fucked up. You get what I'm saying? Just like, with the, the situation of it, like, I mean, I ain't no cub personally and nothing like that, but, I mean, I, he was the hardest Migo to me, I'm going to say that, but just the situation itself, like, I just feel like it was some fucked up shit because basically, bro, he got, he got off, got down off another nigga got down going through it, and then it's your peoples at that, your peoples going through it, you know what I'm saying, so I just feel like that situation fucked up, and I know that boy Quavo was like, that shit gotta be in that boy alive. Cause if one of my folks die on f fuck even just off my watch, on my watch type shit, but because of me and my mouth, like bro, that should have eaten me alive. No kidding. Alright. So how you feel about Angela Bassett not getting an Oscar though? I think that was bullshit because who the fuck is Jamie Lee Curtis? Only saying that on Halloween a couple times. Yeah. Like that movie? What's the name of the movie? What? Freaky Friday? Mm-mm. The new one. Uh, with who? The white bitch? Oh, everything, everywhere, all at once? Yeah. What the fuck is that? I ain't seen that. Man, that shit mediocre as fuck. No kids. Everybody's seen Black Panther. 
Right, Fuck go. Black Panther. That bitch, that bitch should have got an Oscar <laughs> off motherfucking What Love Got to Do With It alone, bro. Like, she didn't get that that year. She but oh god, like she deserved just off that alone. But that bitch played the hell out of Tina Turner strong there. Uh, you know, I gotta keep referring to Memphis. Hell, as you, you saying? Heard you heard me. <laughs> Facts. Facts. Hey, man. Man, what, how you feel about that that John Morant situation? <laughs> Facts. But he showed his ass last night. Mm. He just tweaking to me, cause nigga. I mean, I understand you 4K Trey at this point, cause that's what they calling his ass social media 4K Trey <laughs> John Morant. 4K Trey John ja, NBA Ja. My man but, is a real gangster. Don't play with him. Shit, man. I need my boy to goddamn stay in the game. Like I said in the last video, of course I'm a Steph Curry fan, but John Morant made me a believer. No kids. How you feel about the Tummy Tuck Four situation? <laughs> first of all, first the fuck of all, that's a fucked up ass name for that situation. Tummy Tuck Four. Like that's green as fuck. Like nah, bro. Tummy tuck, not three dudes and a girl, at least. Oh, God. They went over there to sell drugs. The cartel yeah. knew what they was doing. They only apologized because it was too much heat. They meant to kill them. Talk and about still, I don't think. It was too easy. It was way too easy. Like, for the cartel, at least. But for them niggas going over there and getting killed, I think they're crazy. Yeah, yeah, fact. And it wasn't their first time there. Talking about a motherfucker tummy tuck, bitch. That bitch had something tucked in her tummy. She, the fuck? She was tucking that shit. Oh god, man, that bitch had them years in her shit. The fuck? I got a little Q and A, motherfucker. You feel me? Just to get to know you a little better, tight shit. You know, whatever, whatever. All right. Which favorite color? I don't know these days. It used to be red and black, but like then I like dove into like the royal blue. But now I'm into purple. Type of purple, so we're gonna go with lilac type of purple right now. Felt that, felt that. Cute with everything. Felt that, and it look cute on you. You, I mean, I know you're my best friend. Nah, not supposed to say that, but nah, for sure. First of all, you look good in everything. You know, let's just go ahead and put that on out there. You feel me? I don't know what y'all best friend hitting on, but my best friend that bitch. Uh huh. All right, what's your favorite hobby? Smoking. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Coaching. Those niggas make me happy sometimes when they win. So I'm gonna say coaching. Felt that. Alright. So this is a two part question. All time celebrity crush, right? But your all time celebrity cut crush you would date? And your all-time celebrity crush, you will fuck just for the night. That I would date. Mm -hmm. Um, I would date. Um, Kanye West. Like any celebrity, like basketball-wise. Any celebrity. I, I would date Jordan. <laughs> you know, that's my little crush right now. I don't know what that's about. Niggas like skin as fuck. But um, <laughs> and then I would fuck Kevin Gates. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I I would die if I met that man. I don't even know if I'm taking the date. I don't know. But Kevin Gates, definitely. Top five favorite rappers? Kevin Gates, Rawi. Uh, I don't really listen to rap, so give me a minute. Kevin Gates, Rawi. <laughs> Big Boogie. Um, Big Dude. Wow. <laughs> and mm, Polo. I fuck with Polo for sure there. Alright, top five favorite singers. Nah, um, Michael Jackson. I'm going that. I 
I know that's not Michael Jackson, so chill with me. Facts. Um, I like her and Money Long. Money Long. I don't want to say her. What's she saying? Time Machine? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Nah, that bitch hard. That bitch came out of nowhere. Time machine. <laughs> that bitch came out of nowhere. That bitch dropped motherfucking hits after hits, man. All right. But y'all sleep on that hoe right there. For sure. All right. Favorite team? All sports. Warriors. Yes, sir. Red Sox. I don't really like football. I'm gonna say the Saints. No, I'm joking. I'm just kidding. Kahoo. I'm gonna say the fucking. Uh, uh, Seahawks. Boom. I'm a diehard fucking Falcons fan, right? So, you know, and, and during the season, you know, I hope we win. We ass, but, you know, I'm a diehard win, draw, or lose. It don't matter. I'm here for it. But Saints is our biggest rival. I love my New Orleans folk. I love my Louisiana folk. I swear to God, I do. But I hate the Saints, bro. I got to because I'm a Falcons fan, bro. You know. Man, hey. we don't we don't talk bad about the Falcons over there. Okay, so besides a teacher, if you could do anything in the world, any job in the world. That's what she said. That's what she said. She gonna be at the paint. My dream. Judge. I'd be a judge. What's your go-to movie? All about the Benjamin Malibu's most wanted Friday. Um yeah, those oh that fucking get hard. <laughs> oh this motherfucker is is obsessed with uh Will Ferrell. Yes Lord. Alright, so how many states have you visited? In my whole life? Yeah. <laughs> so like, I count where I was born. Period. Like, right. Every state you I'm don't touch down there. Memphis, Arkansas, Atlanta, England, Georgia, and America, all these motherfuckers, everybody dying and shit. I mean, just don't sell drugs and try to get a tummy tuck. At this point, the fuck. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so if you could have a car session with any deceased folks, who would it be? So who influenced you the most in life? Yeah, for sure. Boom. 
And then it switched over to my best bitch, Darsh. You know, shout out to Darsh and me. Shout out, Darcy. Darcy. Make anything happen, no matter what she's going through. And I just appreciate her for that. So, although I don't want to be her when I grow up, I definitely take tips and tricks from her on how to, like, navigate life. All right, so this question is a little more personal. All right, so what was your worst breakup? I, was, I got married, you know. I got my first son, I had him, whatever. And then I found out this nigga was cheating. Boom. Not just with one person, with like multiple people. So then, boom. I'm like, ah, oh, we can make it work. You know, dumb bitch syndrome. It's okay. Sometimes we go through it. <laughs> I'm like, ah, oh, we can make it work. Boom. Nigga was like, oh, I got shorty pregnant. You got shorty pregnant. So then, boom, we married. I'm like, we got to make this work. Like, I'm I'm from the South, you know. A lot of people that I know are married. They stay together, do whatever, you know. <sighs> fighting, you know, fighting, fighting, fighting. This nigga got crazy, started getting abusive, like, just doing crazy shit. And then he had the baby. He just, like, just lost his shit. Found out, fast forward, the nigga had bipolar depression or whatever, but... I think that was the worst shit that I've ever been through in my life. I lost my weight, nigga. I was like 100 pounds. Um, yeah, nah, I would never. I started talking to my best friend. Like, it was crazy out here in the street. Green as fuck. Nobody knew nothing. I was going through that shit by myself. But, you know, I'm back and I'm better. Wow. <laughs> and that's all that matter. That's all the fuck that matter. That shit was a lesson. All right, so if you can go back to any age, what age would it be? I would go back to 19. Why? Because I wouldn't have met that nigga. <laughs> <laughs> this motherfucker here. Nah, I ain't got to I'm grateful for my kids. But no. What would you tell your younger self? I would tell my younger self to go out more. Like, I didn't do shit growing up. Not in high school, in middle, in my 20s, nothing. I'm like, now that I feel like I'm older, and I'm trying to like get that shit out the way before I turn 30. <laughs> um, yeah, it's just been like a big pressure. But, yeah, I would just tell myself to get out more. Like, I probably would have... If I knew, like, life was about experiences, I would have just done a lot more. Like, I would have been on the dance team or some shit like that, but I was just to myself. And you can't live life like that. So I learned that, and now, you know, I'm flourishing into this beautiful butterfly. I thought the cat was trying to fight me. <laughs> Sound about right. All right, so do you consider yourself an introvert or an extrovert? I am a... Introvert versus extrovert. Like, I'm quiet, and then when you get to know me, I'm amazing. That's why everybody loves it here, obviously. <laughs> I felt that, though. And it made hella sense. I gotta, I gotta read the room first. Can't just be trusting everybody. Alright, so what would your spirit animal be? <laughs> yeah, let me chill. Let me chill. Um, my spirit animal will be something. It'll have to be something like a black panther. They like out of the way. Like you don't hear about black panthers much. Fair. All the other cats you hear about. They all the other cats. Yeah, you, say, you sound like an old head. <laughs> Unless you talk about this motherfucker talking about an owl. First of all, nigga, I'm scared of owls. Like that's that's every any animal. First of all, I don't fuck with animals. Like. I don't fuck with anything that walk, crawl, fly, jump, swim. But an owl? Man, look at here. I fuck around and see an owl. Y'all ain't never seen a fat boy haul ass? Okay. <laughs> All right. Play with it. Play the fuck with don't it. Play with it. Don't play with it. Don't play with it. Yeah. Uh -huh. All right. So what is you most proud of in life? I'm proud of myself. 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 I'm pro
I'm proud of graduating. I'm proud of getting my own shit. I'm proud of getting my own job. Like, I was a shelter kid, you know? I don't have to do much, so I'm proud that I, like, stepped outside of that and, like, did some shit. A lot of people ain't got that. I'm proud of my kids, because them little niggas is... Yeah, them little niggas is nice. (laughs) Um, Yeah. That's pretty much it. I ain't got much to do with the problem. And y'all, yeah, she a super mom. Like, she a super mom. So, her kids do all fucking sports. And they fight at all fucking sports. I'm talking about soccer, basketball. They fed to do fucking, um... Football. football. They do track. Come on, now. I'm talking about everything. Nigga, karate. Like, she yeah, got her kids in everything. <laughs> Dead ass serious. Like... This motherfucker is the epitome of a motherfucking super mom, for real. All right, so we better go ahead and jump into these would you rather's questions. You feel me? They kind of off the wall, but, you know, we grown, you know, we all grown. So I don't want to hear no fuck shit. All right, so would you rather have a cheating rich spouse or a broke lawyer spouse? I ain't gonna hold you. Everybody cheat, so I'm gonna have to go with the cheat and rich husband, spouse, whatever. <laughs> Cause everybody cheat. <laughs> Why can't I be rich and happy about it? Oh God. I don't wanna hear everybody don't cheat. Everybody cheat. Everybody cheat. Everybody. Yes, Lord. All right. If you could have a smoke session with any celebrity, who would it be? With the leaf. And that's only because when they were doing that 12-fuck challenge shit, when I watched Snoop Dogg do it, and everybody else do it, they didn't do it right. He was the only one who inhaled, held it, inhaled, and every smoke. I was smoking with Snoop. If you could have a drunk night with any celebrity, who would it be? Like a drunk fun night or a drunk... <laughs> I mean, period. That's not... I feel like that's good like for the world, I would be in my head. Alright, so would you rather have an incredibly annoying high pitched voice or a manly deep voice? I don't know how we can try to talk like this for like this all the time. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I would take a high pitched voice. I ain't got hold you. A high pitched voice. I felt that. Alright, so would you rather have a full blown mustache? Or hairy legs. Hairy legs. Are you going for pants? Tell us you're talking about. <laughs> Alright, so would you rather give up your phone forever or live on a deserted island forever? Well, that's. You know me, but thinking that I'm fucking dividing that question, but I'd rather have. I'd rather. I'd rather have that. That's stupid. <laughs> I'd rather have not have phone. I don't know. All I have is my phone. What about you? That's not easy. You don't help me out here, okay? Oh. Question kind of goofy, bro. Cause exactly, because if you're on the desert, I don't even know how to get your second phone. So you don't got your phone, by the way. Well, I mean, shit. That ain't the question. What? That ain't the motherfucking question. What's the question? You talking about if you ain't got no signal? I mean, bitch. Who say you ain't got no signal? Who ain't got no bitches? The you fuck. Yeah, I'm gonna get Wi-Fi from somewhere. Shit, the fuck. I'm gonna build one. They ain't say that you ain't got no cell service. That motherfucker said a deserted island. Meaning there ain't no motherfucking people there. Ain't no society there. (laughs) So, I don't know which one I do because either which way it go, you detach from the society. You know what I'm saying? If you go without your phone, you don't know what the fuck going on in the world. If you're on this motherfucking deserted deserted island, you don't know what the fuck going on in the world. So, I mean... She 
She only made calls from uh, fucking her neighbor's home. Like, that is different. Be like that. All right, so would you rather call the toilet on your first date or call the toilet on your first day at work? What's that job? But oh god! But oh god! Cause y'all gotta prove that I'm the one who clogged that toilet. The fuck? Dude, I'm finna go. I'm gonna tell like y'all nasty. Just clogged. Like y'all just disgusting. Oh god! All right, would you rather have abnormally big toe or abnormally big ears? I don't know. It could come from both. I'm gonna say abnormally big ears. I would rather have an abnormally big toe to fuck. I don't give a fuck, bitch. Who I'm finna throw some slides on y'all lad with some black socks. Nigga, you see that big toe stump, big stepper. Fuck is you saying? Yeah, the hell is you talking about? Order hell is you talking about? Would you rather be three feet tall or eight feet tall? All right, would you rather have to walk home naked or would you rather be at work naked? Too good, bitch. I don't know me the fuck, and if you do, mind your business. The fuck? I work for the state, so I can't be at work naked. No, and you work right? where I live. Fat as fuck. All right, would you rather have a nose that never stopped growing or ears that never stop growing? But I'm good. Nigga, see you come around the corner a mile away. I'm good, love. Give me the ears. I'm finna throw on the hoodie. Would you rather accidentally send naughty pictures to your dad or to your boss? My boss. Because my boss got hyped me up. Like, he got me up. She don't need no B. You better hype your bestie up. She went all kiki. <laughs> Would you rather give up sex or food? Facts, cause I'm fat. And body <laughs> at least, fuck as you talking about. That's body. Would you rather walk in on your parents having sex or don't walk in on you having sex? Walk in on you having sex. They gotta see me throwing a bike. Oh, that's <laughs> crazy. <laughs> that's what you said. You taught me this. Facts. <laughs> I'd rather them be scarred than me. Oh God, because I do not want to see that. I walked in on my grandma. Oh, that's real tough, first of all. <laughs> <The fuck? laughs> that's real tough, bro. Dead ass serious, bro. One time I was in the fucking. One time, goddamn, I was super fucking young. And my auntie came in with this dude. And she was like, everybody get out of her room. Because we was all in there playing and shit. And then my stupid ass, I'm trying to be all slick and shit. I hide in the closet. I ain't know what the fuck going on. First of all, I ain't know nothing about that because I was dumb young, bro. Man, I hid in the closet, bro. And nigga, they just went to going there. I'm talking about like straight to it. No motherfucking talk. No none of that, bro. They just went to going to it. Bro, oh God, and I'm in the closet looking through the slats and shit, and I'm talking about auntie just got down. I'm like, bro, I ain't go cap. Like, I was in that bitch whimpering. I'm in that motherfucker like, don't do her like that. Why are you doing like, that? Nigga, the fuck? Oh God, I guess she heard me because she opened up the closet door. It was like, get your ass out of here. And when I get out of here, I'm going to beat your ass. She ain't never be mad because she got a bat blew out, but, you know, hey, by all the fuck means. He beat her ass. That's disgusting, actually. That's scary. Yeah, I'm all set. 
Would you rather say your ex name during sex or your partner's best friend name? Oh, that's messy. I said whoa. <laughs> This is an easy question. This is an easy question. Easy? Th this is an easy question, and you better say the right thing, or bitch, you ain't my best friend, for sure. <laughs> All right, so would you rather find love or a million dollars? A million dollars. But, oh, my God, nigga, fuck love. I can <laughs> buy some love. The fuck is you talking about? You better go buy me a bitch. Build me great. a bitch. Yeah, go buy me a bitch. Oh, God. That's the thing. Before they always talking about money don't buy happening. Why the fuck it don't? Shit, long as my bills paid and my children take care of and I'm set. Who, bitch, I'm fed up. Be <laughs> yeah, don't walk around with a smile on his face like he just got it all. And the fuck do? <laughs> Would you rather be able to travel anywhere for free or eat anywhere for free? Definitely. And then I can travel for free and eat as much as I want because I save my bread. Hell is you saying? All right, so I got a tongue twister for you. Right. It is. Now, I'm going to say it slow because I know my slow ad can't get it. You know what I'm saying? Because I don't try it a thousand times. <laughs> but it is a box of mist. Look, I'm already fucking up. Oh, gosh. It is. <laughs> It is a box of biscuits, a box of Miss Biscuits, and a biscuit mixer. I can't say that shit fast. A box of biscuits, and, a box of biscuits, and a box of biscuits, and a biscuit mixer. Biscuit mixer. Biscuit mixer. Uh, biscuit biscuit mixer. Oh God! <laughs> Let me just show y'all how slow I am. A box of biscuits, a box of Miss Biscuits, and a biscuit mixer mixer a box of biscuits a box of mixed biscuit a box of biscuits and a box of mixed bit man fuck that all right we're gonna get into the riddle motherfuckers yet it now y'all i gotta read this shit first of all because my memory ain't too good the motherfucker just remember these motherfucking things i come in a lot of different sizes sometimes i drip a little if you blow me it feels good what am i Sometimes I drip if you blow me, it feels really good. What am I? Is that your final answer? A nose. Big ass nose. Like, Big nose, Abby. All right, next one. You stick your pole inside me. You tie me down to get me up. I get wet before you do. What am I? A tick. Yep. Look at you, good. Both men and women go down on me. What am I? Is that your final answer? Ah, that means it's wrong. Um, <laughs> that's the only thing that both men and women go down on me? I mean, it had some other shit to it, but I deleted that shit. It was like, hmm? Elevator. Yep. Hey. <laughs> I'm spread out before being eaten. Sometimes people lick my nuts. What am I? Peanut butter. Yes, sir. You smart as fuck. Look at you, cook. <laughs> <laughs> I start with a P and end with O-R-N. I'm a major player in the film industry. What am I? What? I start with I start with a P and end with O-R-N. 
I'm a major player in the film industry. What am I? Okay, what gets longer if pulled, fits snugly between breasts, slides neatly into a hole, chokes people when used incorrectly, and works well when jerked? Is that your final answer? Wait, I, you read it too so fast. <laughs> you want me to read again? Yes. All right. What gets longer if pulled, fits snugly between breasts, slides neatly into a hole, chokes people when used incorrectly, and works well when jerked? I don't know. Final answer. Turkey. A seatbelt. All right, so what's your short-term goal? And what's your long term goal? Long term to never work again. Um, yeah. Felt that for sure. Adult in this um, very ghetto. It is. It's not recommended. Zero Facts. Stars. Facts. Um, long term. Actually, short term also, I want to go back to school. Because, yeah. I don't know what I want to go for, though. I want to, I like, I can do anything. I got a clean sleep. felt that though we understand all right so what's next in life though for you like So we're coming to the end of this. You know, we've had to wrap it up. You feel me? Why? Um, do you got any shout outs? Family, friends? Shout out to Darshan, you know, gang and this thing. Gang, gang. I don't really know that many people. Shout out to you about me on your shit. Why? You know, all the haters that's going to see this. All the bitches that's going to see this will be like, I knew that was me and that's friend. <laughs> Ass, huh? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so do you got like any anybody businesses like you want to shout out, you know, your homegirl, them businesses so they can go check out? You, you feel know, me? shout out to Fly by Nine. You know, that bitch gets me right every time. Every time. With the braids. Um, go follow her on Instagram. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't really have nothing on as well. All right, so I definitely appreciate you coming on this motherfucker for show, for show. Y'all did my best friend for show, for life, for air. We know all that little shit y'all be saying these day. Like I said, we locked in forever, ever, you know, and you can follow her too. Go and shout out your Instagram page one more time for him. Underscore, underscore, Southern, underscore, Bell, B-E-L-L-E, Bell. Facts. Facts. Y'all can go ahead and follow her for show, for show. And, of course... Follow me, bitch, on Instagram, bitch, at I am bitch, don't. Why? I just got one more thing to say. And what's that? You ready? Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Dumb bitch. <laughs> <laughs>
Fuck is you saying? Straight like that, you know. Hey, but like, share, comment, you know, whatever. Hey, more videos coming soon for sure, for sure. I'm going to fuck with you with a lit read.